Hello and welcome to WhatMap for City Skylines, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. There are thousands of items on the workshop now, so finding the right one for your next city build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review some using our 5-star rating and the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines Explorers, as we venture out to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B. And you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. Bon Bon here, how you doing? Now, are you keeping up with everything? Because if you are, you won't need me to tell you that last night at 6 o'clock was the release of the Viewer's Choice Top 10 Maps for January. Now, I will link this at the end of today's show. What are the Top 10 Maps? Well, at the end of each show, we get you to vote and give me your opinions on each map. And it's a compilation of, or a combination and compilation of all of your ratings squished together. I'll tell you now, it was a really close chart. The, distance, the difference in percentage between 1st and 10th was the tightest we've ever had and between first and fourth i do believe was only three percent so close so that's for the end of today's show uh for to start of today's show we've got this one little thing to do first and that's right hitting the like button really does support the channel gets me seen by more people helps me grow a little bit more every single day so thank you very much for your assistance i really appreciate it now today's map is Traunsee Austria by Speedtracks DJ. Now you might recognise that name. We've reviewed them three times in the past. Episode 142, they got 11 stars. Episode 152, a disastrous 6 stars. They should start square. And episode 544, that's right, this week... I won't tell you what, how many stars they got in case you've not seen the show and you want to go back and have a little look at that one. There's your resources there. Okay, and then off to the workshop. Uh, it's an after dark map with uh, the Alpine theme by SF FSF Ranger. We have got the dark green LUT to use, uh, network extension to and a handful of trees. I think that's pretty much everything covered there. And uh, there's a few thank yous down there. My name's not there. What's going Oh, no, I didn't produce anything that could be of any use to speed track. So that's fair enough. Oh, we wobbly camera. Right, settle the camera down. Right, we have got the fog switched off today because there's a few things on the edge of the map we do want to see today. So those are like the fog switched off. You will benefit today from an entire episode. An entire episode of uh, no fog. Right, so here we go. We've got some connections here with um, this little four-lane road. And then it goes on to this. Now, this doesn't make any sense to me. Look, cycle paths in the mountains. This is not the Netherlands. I'm not fancying riding my bike through all of that, okay? <laughs> just, just no. Okay, and this is pretty much extensively used all the way through the map. Now, uh, please put me right if you live in Austria and you happen to know that this is how it is that the the main route oh hang on we've got a dirt track there um we'll we'll probably pass that one yes <laughs> yeah if if i'm wrong and there are cycle paths all the way through the mountains on every road in the mountains then i will i will gladly bow to your greater knowledge oh another dirt track do you know what we'll, we'll have a look down this one shall we if we go down here and follow it around like this it leads you uh, right back to that dirt track that we bypassed a second ago so that's kind of like i don't have a problem with it it's nothing wrong with that little track it doesn't add anything to the map as far as i'm concerned but it doesn't really take anything away and so um, i guess i guess it breaks up the monotony of just bare mountains uh, we have um, uh, switchbacks on these roads are not too bad. They're not, once again, not the slickest switchbacks I've ever seen. But equally, they're not the worst, generally. There will be one that you'll look at and laugh, I'm sure. But uh, it's actually generally a reasonable standard. I'm not exactly the routes I would take. My Traunsee, Austria sounds like it's a real place to me. And maybe these roads are based on the real-life road layouts. And if that's the case, using overlays, then I'm sorry, speed tracks, but um, the Austrian road planners are dumb. <laughs> I'll let you off this one. Ah, coming down here on your bike at high speed. Oh, dear. <laughs> Dirt track goes off that way. No, we'll come, we'll come this way. Yeah, we'll go... Um, um, no, we'll, we'll go a bit further. Because we've got some proper switchbacks going on up here. This is a steep old climb. A steep old climb. Switchbacks absolutely required here. I don't have really any problems with this at all. Once again, would I have actually taken... Oh, there's a tunnel. 
there'd be a tunnel. There'd be a way drops down tunnel. And if we go through to the other side, oh, and uh, there's a tunnel over here. Oh, probably connect. Yeah, it's not too bad that side. This uh, this map does have a lot of tunnels. I would imagine, being Austria, that there would be a few tunnels here and there. So that's not an issue. The tunnels are not necessarily the best part of the map. Um, think you might have one or two like nods of yeah, bonbon. I'll let you have that one. You know. <laughs> right. Um, slam the brakes on here. <laughs> coming down that, coming down these slopes on your bike and then get into an intersection. It's probably, especially if it's a bit icy. Probably not uh, the most fun thing to do, but we're going to head down now anyway to the valley because I think you've seen plenty enough of the mountain roads to know that they're okay. They're not super five star rating uh, have to play this map roads like this road here. We saw like zigging zagging when it does it need to zig and zag there. Probably not. Now, I apologise, we have got the UK traffic lights. I forgot that we've still got these switched on. Um, they would be but automatically the vanilla ones, normally. So I apologise for that. We have got some UK settings on from my current map build. We'll go this way, because it looks like a suspension bridge. Are you ready for the best set suspension bridge in the world? Are you ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. I mean, to be fair, I mean, you, you could pogo stick over that, couldn't you? You don't even need a bridge. Just a ramp on one side and the ramp on the other. Hey, they're the good old boys. <laughs> Never meaning no harm. Right, okay, ignore the um, the tunnel there. We'll come back and have a look at the tunnel. And we'll just follow this... Um, <laughs> let's say, no, it's, we've still got cycle paths. We've still got cycle paths. Um, right, tunnel. This tunnel is weird, okay? Several ways. First of all, cyclists are going to ride into a brick wall. Secondly, the transition between the two roads, it's, well, you might bang your car on the side there as well there's a dip down that's the dip down yet the tunnel is straight look see how straight that is see look look dips down straight okay we'll come over here now this is slightly better the transition here is a bit better the cyclists have got a chance to dismount and maybe walk around the tunnel but once again it dips down that's weird okay <laughs> um, more tunnels on the left we'll look at the rail tunnels in a moment so don't get too excited <laughs> Please don't get too excited. Um, yeah, we've just gone past probably the highlight of the whole map. We'll, come, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, shall we go inland? Let's go inland. Yeah, we could follow the river all the way. We've got switchbacks going on here. Probably don't need them. It doesn't look too steep here, does it? These are not the most meaningless switchbacks on the entire map. Okay. <laughs> They're really not. <laughs> there is worse to go to. Go. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I, I, I know what's I know what's coming. <laughs> I know what's coming. This is why I laugh. See, yeah, here, switchbacks there um, to get up a little bit of the... Yeah. And here, look, look how bendy these roads are. <laughs> oh, dear. Who built these roads? I, I do hope these are based on real-life um, overlays because speed tracks, you, 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 you are toying with me, my friend. You are toying with me. Right, going back down. Switchbacks here as we go down the mountain. Oh, down the mountain? Switchbacks going down. It looks really steep, doesn't it? Let's have to switch the terrain lines on. Terrain lines are on. And those switchbacks are perfectly flat. <laughs> oh, we've got all this asphalt, sir. Um, do some switchbacks, okay? Just use it up, all right? And even then, you've got all that steepness there. It kind of like... Uh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, speed tracks. You have made my morning. Thank you. Uh, down here, uh, through the level crossing, and down to a little uh, junction here, which then, if you take a left, a uh, right, sorry, that's, we've just done that, we've just done a lap. I'm not even sure that, I, I wouldn't have bothered with this particular map, that, sorry, map, road, dropping down the side, wouldn't have bothered with the map. I, that's not that bad, okay, it's playable, shush, shush now. <laughs> We're going to come across some traffic in a minute. We haven't seen much traffic, but there is traffic on this map, as you will see in a moment. Um, there's a little bit of um, heavy traffic, actually, coming up in a moment. Right across here, across the bridge, and then, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, isn't that not the best thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Speed tracks, how did you miss that? How did you miss that? I think that's asking for a bottleneck, yeah? Literally a bottleneck. 
Uh, then we come, yeah, here comes some of your busy traffic as it all cuts in and the, through the mountains. And uh, yeah, apologising again for the UK traffic lights. And that is my bad, as they say in um, on the street, don't they? That's, that's what the kids say, isn't it? Yeah, my bad. Oh, that's what they were saying back in the 90s, probably. <laughs> I kind of got left behind then. Anyway, um, we've got uh, more roads going off into the hills and mountains, stuff like that. Shall we have a look at the rail while we're here? While we're here, why not? We've got a few um, pre-made stations here, like this one. Uh, there is a little bit of wiggly rail going in and out of the stations, but it's not bad. Okay, it's just a bit wiggly. Across the bridge there, another little station here. Come out the station on the other side. Across another level crossing here. All the old level crossings got to have a little bit of a oh, look. Gates are up. Gates are up. <laughs> means it's safe to proceed and we're going to proceed along this way um, if it there's a train up ahead we might catch it I think there's another station up ahead as well um, doo -doo -doo. come on come on put the foot down bonbon bon. put your foot down we're catching him you know we're catching him through the next station here hang on what was that ah Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha! Ha, ha, ha. It's the Hexastructure by Lumino. Ah, it's, um, it's like a roof. Supposedly used for parking, but uh, you can use it for, like, railway stations or anything, really, if you like. And factoids because factoids. Mary Patterson, or Paterson, a beautiful Scots prostitute, was murdered by Burke and Hare, and her body was sold for dissection. But the doctor who bought it was so taken with the purchase that he kept her preserved in whiskey for three months. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Jack Daniels couldn't have done better. Hexastructure by Luminu, today's asset of the day. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> We're not going to catch that train up now, are we? It's, it's just gone. It's just out of sight. It's flown away. It's gone. We've lost it. Oh, another station. Lots of stations in Jaunty. Brilliant. <laughs> I don't think we need them, but... Oh, another one. <laughs> Is that five? Five? Oh, it's all good. Oh, we're catching them up. Uh, across the state uh, platform there. Now, we have got a tunnel here. Now, watch the way it just dives into a um, little bit of... Oh, hang on. Is there terrain glitching? Is there blue mantle? Did I see some blue mantle in that? I think I did. Hang on, let's pull back here from this angle. Uh, there it is, Blue Mantle. Found it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that dives across, dives away into a pit of hell. Okay, um, but if we go around this way, it's the same tunnel. It comes out the other side, out of the pit of hell. I mean, why? Why have we got both? I've no clue at all. That is pure lunacy. <laughs> Probably the worst bit of detailing on the entire map. <laughs> Borderlines it going down the star, I tell you. We've got these little emergencies here where it's sort of like the tunnel emergencies, emer emergencies, emerges and disappears. I'm just not sold on this stretch at all, especially with these tunnel entrance covers here. This one doesn't even, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, I've gone into editing mode. I was going to fix it, but I've decided, to be honest with you, I don't care enough. <laughs> I don't, maybe you want to fix this if you want to take on the map. I, I'm just, no. It's not for me, I'm afraid, that particular bit of tunnel work. I've uh, got the more tunnel here. This is like long. Um, it's like out. Look, look, it's out, yeah? But look, if you peer in there, the tunnel starts there. So what's that tunnel all the way along the edge for? Oh, just detailing, I guess. It looks nice. It looks pretty. Pretty in concrete -y kind of way. <laughs> Back in the moment. Do your college sex look like this? Do you want them to look like this? Then you need the beginner's guide to the perfect call to sex by Bon Bon B. Click the information button now. Thank you very much, Zach. Those are much prettier cul de sacs, aren't they? Now let's pull up here and have a look at shipping routes. Are you ready? Well, obviously we've got no shipping routes because there's no shipping, it's just a lake. We position the camera correctly <laughs> oh dear well done on your excellent editing bonbon i know 
<laughs> uh, we've got um, flight routes. We do have a flight path with lots of like harsh turns here. But to be honest with you, the planes aren't too bad with like those sort of turns. Having said that, when you get to a crossroads, the plane might want to do a hard right to come over this way. And um, so, yeah, for me, never ever cross your plane, uh, plane flight routes ever. That never looks good. Right, we're going to go upstream, have a look at the water flow. The river is quite narrow, but you won't be drawing or pumping from here. This isn't a problem, okay? This is not a problem. When you get to the lake and you're, you're looking and you're going, I'm a bit worried about this. No, honestly, water flow on this map is no problem. I'm not saying it to be like funny or anything like that. We've got a little bit of water flow coming in off the mountains from um, uh, snow melt. But here we have got... This is right by the start square, by the way. It's not actually on the start square, but it's right by it. And that's just pushing everything away. And that, for me, works perfectly fine. I have no problems at all. And it doesn't look stupid either. You don't even notice too much of a water surge. So credit for that. And then up here, we've got the river flowing in as well. So it's a realistic working river that doesn't actually need to be operational because it seems to be working fine. Okay, uh, here's your overview. It's kind of split into three sections. You've got your valley, which is perfectly flat and featureless, which I guess is good because if you're going to be building... I would say, guess it's good. Uh, I don't have a problem with it being featureless because you're going to be building on here. It's primarily 100% flat for a reason. And so I don't, I don't mind that there's no real detailing. Also, I don't mind too much that there's not too much in the way of detailing along the coast. You're not scoring bonus points for it. We've got an extra bit of valley over here as well. You don't score bonus points by not having detailing. Um, but uh, it's it's not the worst. Anyway, um, the, the theme... The theme uh, is producing these lovely white edges and sort of like giving you a hint, hint of frost. We have like hills, hills are fine, but we're using oil for painting of snow and it's a little bit brash if I'm honest with you. If we come down here and have a look at here, see where the snow begins here. It, why would the snow just start there? It wouldn't, it'd start a little bit of a higher elevation even if it's just a few feet. So I'm just gonna show you if I can Get rid of Ultimate Eye Candy, open up Ground Resources, select Oil, which I've done now. And I'm just going to drop the brush size down a little bit. And I was just going to show you, I'm painting oil in there. That's, that's how you paint in snow using this theme. Now if we go and have a look at where the snow has started, I'm just going to take some of this snow out. Not much. I'm, I'm, once again, I'm not doing the world's best job here, mostly because I don't have all day to be able to do it, and you don't have all day to watch it. And it's not really a snow painting tutorial. It's uh, it's just a yeah, it's, it's a map review show. Yeah. So I'm putting a little bit more snow there, taking a little bit of snow out, just trying to fade the snow a little bit. I think that looks better already, and that was just in a few seconds. So I think more could be done with the transition of the snow where you get these valleys it's less so on the mountains although transition on the mountains would be good also same here um but yes yeah, so it just a little bit more finesse would would add a little bit of believability to the mountains although the mountains look good the forests there's not much of a mix of trees but the tree placement across the map i am not apart from there's no trees on the flats but i understand why uh, I don't have any problem with the tree placement. Um, if anything, you're kind of getting an extra half a star for detailing for the trees. And then you're losing half a star for detailing for the tunnels. <laughs> it's like you take from one, you give to the other and so forth. We've got this river here, this little mountain stream. It's a snow melt stream. And although it is off right on the edge, well, ish on the edge of the map, I'm not buying this water source at all. It needs to be thinner, lighter, just taper it in a little bit more and that would be more believable but once again this isn't a map about those we've also got these these like um tadpoles here <laughs> you get to the top i don't entirely buy into why you come to here i mean i understand you drive up here for the view for a picnic maybe but um maybe a, a hint of a footpath across to this peak would be better as well from the end so that's what i'd do if it'd be me so your chance to vote on the map, is it a one star map, is it a five star map, is it somewhere in between, your vote really does count, we use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10, but you know about that because I told you right at the start of the show, last month's, uh, last month's one is ready, will this be one of the top 10 maps, it could be, depending on what's to follow this month, I think it's got a chance, okay aesthetically speaking, it's okay, 
it's okay. There are some areas of outstanding beauty and other areas that just feel a bit mm, could have been better. So I'm going to give it. A, I'm going to give it a middly three. Okay. Uh, detailing. Uh, there are some areas, once again, which are, like say, the tree placement, really happy with it. The tunnels, pretty poor. Choices of roads, oh god. <laughs> Overall, though, I think it's somewhere down the middle again. I'm going to give it a solid three, again. Gameplay potential, everything's kind of in place, but I would be replacing all of the roads. I'd just get rid of the roads full stop and start again. The rail's not too bad, but the roads... Just replace them. Uh, so it would have got a fourth star, probably, but I'm going to have to lose a star for the road, so three stars for gameplay. Chauncey Austria by Speed Tracks DJ. Three, three, and three. That's a pass mark from me. Is it one you'd want to play? Maybe. Maybe if that's the sort of thing that you're looking for, then you can't go wrong. It's a reasonable map. It's reasonable. It's just there are slightly better maps. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks anyway for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing. Join me tomorrow for the Steam Weekly Chart Show. Um, there may be a tutorial tomorrow, possibly. Um, I've got a couple, but I've, both of them, they're, although they're finished, I'm not happy with. So uh, I might have to re-record both of them from scratch. Oh, hours of work down the pan. Have a great day. I'll see you very, very soon.